that is perfect curly hair. When it curls like this, it just gets shorter, right? You know, look at this. My hair like, <laughs> that's crazy. As you guys can see, I have pretty good curls. From zero to like 21, my hair was not good. Okay, don't mind my roommate, he's singing. So, my hair was not always like this. I'm serious, from like the ages of zero to like 20, bro, my hair was scary. It was to the point where people bullied me. So what are you gonna do with your hair? Your hair looks awful, getting made fun of. Even my mom was like, are you gonna cut your hair? You know, try different hairstyles. Bad. And now I look like Tarike. So you're probably wondering, Ty, how'd you do it? What did you do different? Are you mixed? No. So to start off, you're gonna need a couple products. Number one, you're gonna need a shampoo and conditioner. Now, this doesn't matter. Um, I use Ozzy, right? This is Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy. Okay, so you're also gonna need a leave-in conditioner. So I use Shea Moisture for my leave-in conditioner. With this one, there's a lot of different brands you can use. You have Cantu, Shea, Shea Moisture, um, and others. Regardless, you're also gonna need a curl enhancing smoothie. So I use, again, Shea Moisture, really good brand. I think they use like natural products, so it makes your hair better. But we're on a budget, people. And with this, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda, kinda expensive, you know, it's not cheap. But for what's out there, I have seen the prices. This is a bang for your buck. Okay, so step one, I'm about to get in the shower because, you know, my hair, if I turn right on, you know, my hair doesn't look the best right now. It looks kind of, you know, <laughs> dead. Oh, I forgot to mention one last thing. You're gonna need this. It's called a Damon brush. Um, this basically just detangles your hair. So I'm gonna get into like with detangling all of that later. But this, oh my God. I think this is like two bucks on Amazon. Guys, best purchase I've ever, ever gotten. If you guys do wanna buy this one, I'm gonna have a link down below. I'm telling you, this right here, it changed everything from my hair. All right, so I'm about to hop in the shower. I'm gonna get out and then we're gonna do the whole process go through it, tell you guys how exactly how I do it, because I know I used to be one of those guys looking up how to get curly hair for black guys, how to do this, how to do that, and I could never actually find it until I found it my own way. I'm here to spoil them for you people. You know, I'm not gonna leave anything out. I'm not a gatekeeper. But let me hop in the shower because I'm a little stinky and my hair looks a little bad. I haven't washed it in like a month. All right guys, fresh out of the shower, and you can see my hair is already just, that's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna use the big sink because this tends to get messy, I'm not gonna lie. And again, as I mentioned before, I'm not mixed, so a lot of people, they get discouraged thinking, oh, he's mixed, or he's this or that. If you look at my baby pictures, yeah, you know, my hair was not the best. That wasn't a good time for Ty, you know? I was really trying to just find myself. So now that we cleared the elephant out of the room, let's get into the process. So number one, this is a daily process. Every single day, every single week, every single month. So shampoo, we have a winner. This is gonna be the first step in the process of getting curly hair. I like to wash my hair on Thursdays. Now it doesn't matter which day you pick, but whatever day you pick, make sure you stick to it. So as I said, I do Thursdays and today is Sunday, so we're a little off schedule, but it is fine, it is fine. Never mess with your hair when it's dry. So yeah, I should have mentioned, it doesn't have to be like freezing cold water, but make sure it's not hot. Not hot water. Okay, so step one, as I said, you wanna get your shampoo, right? Ugh. And you just wanna get a moderate amount. So so the shampoo, you're not really putting it like in your hair, you're really just massaging your scalp. You know, people get that part wrong. You try to like put it all in your hair. That's not what shampoo's for. Shampoo is to clean the scalp. So obviously it's gonna be in the hair. You know, you don't try to avoid your hair. Don't be stupid, guys. No, you're gonna just make sure you massage the scalp. And so. You know, I made jokes earlier about me like being like ugly and stuff in like high school and middle school, but that shit was no joke. Um, like the reason I got my hair the way it is now is because how like how like mean the kids were, bro. It was really, like it was, it was ridiculous. If my son or daughter ever goes to school and say any of the things those kids says to me. Bro, I don't hit kids, like I, I'm against like whooping your kids, but my God, did that, that deserves an ass beating. Like bro, it was so bad. Some of the guys were in there like bullying the like special needs guy. Like, that's crazy. Like this one guy, I forgot his name, but I think he had like a speech impediment or something. And we were at the lunchroom 
and they're like making fun of him, taking his food, throwing it at him. I'm like, like that is a certain kind of evil. Like, how do you do that to a special needs? And you know, honestly, looking back, I probably deserve to be bullied because you know I wasn't really doing myself any favors. But man, you know, I just I remember those late nights just sitting there thinking, like, how can I get curly hair? How can I look better? Like. Every video I used to watch, it was always Hispanic or some mixed guy. Like, where's the black guys? That's like me with bad hair. You know, I don't want to say bad because that's giving a bad connotation. It just wasn't properly maintained here, you know? To be where I'm at now, like now, guys, I have people coming up to me, literally asking me, are you Hispanic? Are you mixed? Your hair is beautiful. Girls come up, your hair is beautiful. Like, it's natural. Like, I can never do that with my hair. These are women. Like, what? You should cut it off. Oh my God. I can, it's like a desert, I can walk through it, I'm gonna get dry, it's drier than a Popeye's biscuit. Like, it was bad, man. Okay, so after you put it in your hair, you wanna let it sit there for like a good five or 10 minutes. Uh, just so it can like really soak in and like really clean your hair. You know, a lot of people put it in and like wash it out immediately. Why? First of all, you're wasting your shit. This shit is not cheap, people. Like, bro, inflation and prices. Like, bro, I went to the grocery store a couple days ago. Why was candy $5? A bag of candy, I literally bought it, it's right here. I can show you. So this one, this was like two bucks, but bro, there was a candy in there like this. That was five bucks. Wh what? That's a that's a four for four from Wendy's. That's a full meal. This is worth the a Wendy's four for four. At this point, I don't even know where the economy is going. It, I don't know. We're we're in scary times. We'll go listen to a good bop. Um, let it sit for a little bit. I'm gonna catch you guys in a second. I'll be back. All right, so let's just wash it out. Oh, look at that. Oh, that dirt and grime. All right, so your hair is gonna be soaking. You can rinse it out with your hand if it's long enough. If it's not, then, I don't know, suffer. Okay, so this is the most important part. Condition, conditioner. Unlike the shampoo, this is what actually goes in here. So like, as I said with the shampoo, that's more for your scalp. With this, you want to rake it through your hair. So you should feel your hair get soft. If it doesn't, I don't know what kind of hair you got. You got something. You really have a special, different kind of hair. Don't be shy with the conditioner. Conditioner with curly hair is your best friend. You could also get you a spray bottle. I got this off of Amazon too. I'll put this in the link down below too. But um, if you don't want to buy this, you can honestly just use the sink. It's the same process. It's just water, right? But you want to just make sure your hair stays saturated with water. As I said before, you don't want to mess with your hair when it's dry because it can mess it up. So make sure at all times, if you're messing with it, it's always just saturated. It doesn't have to be soaking wet, just wet enough. All right, so once you rake all the conditioner in here, I would say the most important part, you have to detangle the hair. So as I said, back in high school, my hair was struggling. You know, I was really, I was just trying to find my way. It wasn't until I found out about detangling is when my hair actually transformed and got better. Get your hands, right, you know, your fingers, and you wanna just slide them through your hair. So it's gonna be a little tough at first because you haven't detangled it probably in a while. But eventually, right, you know, you don't wanna like pull it to where like it's pulling your hair out. You wanna do it lightly, but to the point where you can successfully, like that, rake right through. Now you wanna do that for your, all your hair until you get to the point where you can just do it effortlessly. Now, this can take some time. You know, it takes me around 15, sometimes 20 minutes to fully, fully detangle because I have so much hair. You know, it doesn't look like that much, but it's pretty if I pull it. My hair is, ah, oh, shit, got my eye. It's my eye, fuck. Okay, if I show you the length, my hair goes like, almost past my chin. I have pretty long hair. It's just, when it curls like this, it just gets shorter, right? Now, a lot of people forget the top. Do not forget the top. It's gonna be the hardest, you're not going to do it. Trust me, I get it, I know, I'm there. It's awful, but you gotta do the top. You gotta do all your hair, because it's gonna look, if you don't do it, it's not gonna look, it's not gonna look right. I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you. Please trust me. And don't forget, periodically, spray your water or use a sink. Don't do it dry. Okay, so as you see, my hands have like pretty much just hair all on it. So when you detangle, a lot of hair will come out. Don't be, don't be frightened, that's supposed to happen. That's just a bunch of dead hair and like tangles that just got stuck in here. This is supposed to come out. I have a lot of it everywhere. 
Oh, you thought it was over. No, 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 no. So, as I mentioned, this buddy right here is the key to greatness. Now, if you don't want to buy this, you don't have to. I do strongly recommend it, though. But the, after buying this, my hair, let me tell you, my hair transformed to something I didn't even know was possible. I literally have perfect, it's beautiful. Please buy this. Now, if you don't want to buy this, you can skip to this. If you don't want to watch me do it. But if you do buy this and you do want to watch how it works, stay tuned. So, your hands cannot do the job completely. You know, they're just too wide. But this, as you can see, these are very, very thin and these get through the hair completely and detangle it to a point where it's just free hair. It's just, it flows, it flows in the wind. It's immaculate. So, the way to use is, grab like a strand, something like this, not too long, not too much, something like that. You wanna put it on there first and you wanna grab the base of the hair, right? Behind the comb and you wanna pull it through just like this. So you see I'm holding my hair and I'm gonna push it through and I'm gonna do that over and over until it's come through. And he's about, when I let it go, as you can see, look at that. Oh my God. So you wanna do that pretty much for your entire head. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it takes a long time. It takes me like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, sometimes 30. Um, so I recommend putting on a podcast, listen to some songs, watch a movie, I don't know, talk to your girl. Do something. This is gonna take a minute. Um, you wanna make sure you do it thoroughly though. Don't skimp out on this. Your arm will hurt, switch arms. If you can't do it with your left hand because you're not ambidextric or something, I don't know. Then, I don't know, push through it. Push through. This is gonna suck. I always hate it tangling. It just takes so long. And bro, my arm would just be burning, bro. All right, let me do it. It's already it's like 12.30, bro. It's 12.25? 12.25. What am I doing up? Whenever you ever split in like this, you want to have scissors to cut it because honestly, this this can't grow. When there's no curl powder and it's just a, a bunch of hair just bundles together, that's a split in. You need to just cut that. All right, so whenever you get done with the Damon brush, it's good to just go through it one more time with your hand just to make sure. Now it should be easy to just go through your hair with your hand. If you did the Damon brush right, you just want to make sure you get all the tangles out. So this is fully detangled hair, as you can see. You can wash it out now, you know, it's been sitting there for 30 minutes. But if you don't have the Damon brush and you skip to this part, make sure you keep the conditioner in for at least 10, 15 minutes. You know, you want to let it sit to really condition and just clean your hair. Well, not clean, but, but to really moisturize your hair. Um, because honestly, with curly hair, the biggest thing is moisture and having your hair moisturized. Oh, okay, my hair is dripping again, so let me hurry up. Okay, so I washed out of my hair. Um, as you can see, it looks kind of crazy now. But this is the magic, people. So after you wash out the conditioner, you are not done. You must recondition the hair. Leave-in conditioner. So whenever you get done, wash day. Today is Thursday, don't forget. Today is Thursday. After you wash, condition, do all of that, you want to make sure you recondition with leave-in conditioner. So as I said, I use Shea Moisture. You can use Cantu. I like this one because it has the black Jamaican castor oil, um, as you can see. So it's really nice to promote hair growth and having really good, strong, healthy hair, which is what I like. Again, you wanna make sure your hair is wet. Even though my hair is like dripping right now, I'm gonna just add a little bit more water, just in case. You're gonna just get a nice, handsome glob. So you should for your hair get like a little bit softer because you're moisturizing it, right? Again, you don't want, this is not for the scalp. This is strictly for your hair and to moisturize the curl pattern. Massage it through your scalp, not scalp, not scalp, not scalp. I'm still gonna detangle because detangling is the most important part. Detangling honestly is what makes the hair actually curl. So for the long kids, I wasn't detangling properly. I would watch videos and they would say like detangle, but as I said, like they didn't really, I mean, I guess some videos did or tried to, but they didn't really like stress the importance of detangling. So like for the longest, I would like put it in my hair and like put it in and like not really detangle. So that's why I would sit on the top because it wasn't like going in. But now you see that little white stuff is actually going in because don't be like me in high school, going in, looking crazy, 
with the white stuff just on my hair and it's half curly, half not, and it just I just look bad. All right, so there we have it. So I'm gonna do one more douse of water. All right. I'm telling you guys, this water, man, this is your best friend. If I have the key to the lock, why am I gonna hold it? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna open the door for everybody. Why, why gatekeep? Speaking of gatekeep, this is out. I don't know what it is about black hair or hair, my, my type of hair, but whenever you shake it, it's just magic. This might look a little crazy. I might look stupid, but trust the process. So, watch me, copy me. Right, as you can see, it's already getting curly. So you don't want to only go side to side, left to right. You want to also go like back and forth because you want to make sure you're really just moving that hair, getting it just all messy, all just nice and pretty. So don't give yourself whiplash. Don't go crazy, right? You're not a rock star. Calm down, buddy. Just you know, a nice little back and forth where the hair gets to moving. Now, if your hair is not long enough to move, I understand. You know, this the shaking is not going to really help you. What you need to do is you need to get your hands and just go in a circular motion like this and do that every day. And your hair eventually will start curling. And once you get long enough, you can start shaking it, then you'll be all right. But if, for the ones that's like got long hair already, keep doing this. There we have it, guys. So here it is. It looks so good. So this is a fresh wash. So the video is not over. I'm gonna catch you guys in the morning because this, like I said, is a daily process. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do as a follow-up and then I'm gonna explain how like to keep it up, keep the routine, and just keep your hair looking nice and flawless. Um, and I do want to mention, so if you are coming from a spot where your hair is damaged or doesn't look good, you know, doing this, it's not gonna be immediate. It's gonna have to take time for your hair to like take it in and really like evolve, I guess. Because when I first started, my hair, as I said, was not good. You know, I wasn't moisturizing it, barely put water in it, didn't drink water. You know, it just I was a very dehydrated person from hair to tongue. Now, if I'm honest, I did cut my hair because, you know, it was just very bad. So don't be discouraged. You know, it takes, you know, if it's very bad, I would say up to a month or two months, you know, of consistently doing your hair, wetting it every day, and just maintaining it. That's the biggest problem. People don't maintain the hair. Guys especially. Like, I don't know, a lot of people, like, say, oh, you're gay, or, oh, that's too feminine. It's too feminine to look good, to smell good, to look attractive. That's gay? Like, I don't... I don't get it. But over here, guys, we're not listening to the, Let them be curls for the girls. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't let them call you gay or pretty or too feminine. Man, I heard it all. Oh, you're gay. Tired are you bi, blah, blah. No. I beat all the allegations. I'm not gay. I'm not bi. I'm straight. I'm straight as a whistle. Have you ever experienced having a girl want to play in your ear? Oh, my God, it smells so soft. Oh, my God, it smells so good. Have you ever experienced that? No. Let me help you. Listen to this video. Take the information. I used to be one of those guys that watch the video and get mad because it didn't work immediately. You have to be able to look at something and say, okay, eventually I will be there through time, effort, and discipline. If you have to, come back to the video later. If you need to like remind yourself how to do it, how to properly use a Damon brush, I get it. I, I was there. You know, I, I didn't have hair like this all the time. As I said, here I am. That was me at one point. I, I, I understand. You look up... You wake up every day wishing, how do I get curly hair? How, like, what are they doing different? Are, is it a gene? Is it something? No. You just need to figure out how to actually maintain your hair. This, this, and some conditioner, and a little bit of shampoo takes you a long way. All right, so let me go to bed. Um, I'm going to catch you guys in the morning. I'm going to show you guys the follow-up to this. But, let I me mean, look at that. That looks so nice. Right? Look at that. Just like it's just, look at that. Ooh. That is a perfect, guys, oh my God. Do you know where I came from? Ty, your hair is so ugly. It's so bad, cut that off. Oh God, can I, let me touch it, not in a good way. Let me touch it. Oh my God, it's so hard, why is it so hard? What is that? Come play my hair, because my name is Tarike. All right, I'm going to bed. Good morning, guys. All right, so it's the next morning, I just woke up. As you can see, my hair, I mean, still looks all right. It just has that sleepy hair look, which is the best look, but. Um, so typically, what I do after I wake up the next day. Okay, first, let's actually get some more light here because it is pretty dark. And you guys fucking with the pajamas, man. Some of you guys might come and tell you where this sweater so much, but 
Bro, it's a clean sweater. It feels nice. And it's fall. All right, we got some light now. That's much better. We can actually see. But no, you can see my hair uh, has that sleepy hair look. Obviously, I'm not going to walk outside with my hair looking like this. You know, it's just very matted up. But we're about to fix that right now. So typically when I wake up in the morning, um, I come to the sink, right? Um, again, you can use, where's my spray bottle? All right, anyway, hold on. So you can also use a spray bottle, as I said, but I do like using a sink just because it's more water. You know, with this, you have to like spray it like 50,000 times. Do not dry yourself, right? Just, oh my God, it's still cold. It's still cold. So since I put in leave-in conditioner, I don't want to wash it all out. So I just get my hair to a point where it's like soaking wet and then I use my spray bottle to get more. But again, if you don't have it, you know, you can just do this, right? Get water in your hand and do that. That, that works, but it's just more messy. Okay, there we have it. My hair is soaking wet now. As you can see, it's already like just more curly. But this is the magic sauce, people. So let me put the camera down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where? Oh, my hair is, my hair is like dripping. Where is, hold on, I'm looking for the can too, or the shade, where's my shade moisture? Oh my gosh. Why is everything in the bathroom? You wanna get your curly Hansen smoothie, right? I have shade moisture. Again, you can use can too. If you want, so I might as well just link all the d stuff that I use in the description. Everything that I use, I'm gonna have it in the description. Um, I get everything from Amazon, well, Actually, I buy it myself from the store, but it is on Amazon. It gets there pretty quickly. So same thing. You want to get a generous amount, right, in your hand. And you want to just slather it just like it's leave-in conditioner, but it's not leave-in conditioner. Unlike leave-in conditioner, this doesn't, like, moisturize your hair. It really only defines your curls, so it's best to, like, put in leave-in conditioner. But since I put it in last night and I didn't like, fully wash it out, now if you fully wash out the leave-in conditioner and you just see all the suds go down, I recommend putting in more because, honestly, uh, I said it, like, earlier, but... Moisture is the like best friend of curly hair, especially like 4C type hair. Like this right here, bro, this split end is gonna kill me. I've been, I need scissors. I haven't bought, I might just go to, I haven't bought scissors and it's just like ruining my hair. It looks terrible. But this is not where you want to detangle your hair because if you've done it properly, it should already be detangled. I um, mean, of course you can still like run your hands through it just a little bit, but use more water. You know, the reason I'm telling you guys to use more water over and over because, you know, you can really mess your hair up by like messing with it and trying to, and trying to like maintenance it without having water or without it being saturated. And you can like pull it out and like mess your curl pattern up. I've been there. Like I used to have like all right curls, like way back, like when I was like 18, 19, only curly at the top. Like for some reason it wouldn't curl like in the middle. And that's because I kept like pulling it and like messing the curl at the, like, the bottom. So now I only touch my hair when it's wet or when I'm in the shower. Now this could be totally false, but I think if you like push it back or like move it in di different directions, they can like start growing that way, which I don't want. I kind of wanted to have that, you know, forward look. So that's why I, I rake it like this. And I'm, not, and I'm looking in the viewfinder to make sure it looks all right. It shouldn't feel softer, you know, it shouldn't feel hard. You know, that's not the look you're going for, but it should feel like custardy or custardy, Cust custardy? Your custardy, custardly? You know what I'm trying to say. It should, it should feel like your hair is very like sticky. Oh, no, that's not the word. <sighs> You'll be all right. You will be okay. You know, just make sure your hair feels like hair still. If it doesn't feel like hair, you need to go to the doctor. Like right now. Actually, like seriously. Go to the doctor. <laughs> okay, so, right, add more water. Unagua. Mas unagua. Wait, mas, mas, mas agua. All right, bro, I've been in Miami way too long. So like, it's gotten to the point where I, I low key know Spanish. The place that I work, it's like a predominantly Hispanic place. Um, so pretty much everybody speaks Spanish like fluently, well obviously, um, and I don't, you know, I don't know Spanish fluently at least. But I low key like understand some of their convos. Whenever someone comes with the order, I, I can do the full order in complete Spanish. Like ask their name, ask, is it for here to go? I've been Miami way too long. It's gotten to the point where people ask me if I'm Hispanic because I have curly hair and like, I low key know a little Spanish. Like, are you Hispanic? No. Okay, so now you just want to rake that water, right? Through your hair, just as show. Okay, so this is my hair now, right? 
Um, it looks really nice, really curly. And guys, I have to say again, I am not mixed. I'm not mixed. I know I'm gonna get in the comments, oh, he's mixed, he's that, or I guarantee his mom's blood. No, I have two black parents, and my mom doesn't have curly hair, you know? It's just, I just, just know how to maintain my hair. There is no right product. You just have to finally figure out how to actually maintain it. And once it starts growing curly, you're golden, man. So, as you can see, it's like this now. Um, and also, get the right cut to match your hair. Right, if you want to go for the curly look, I recommend this cut. I think it's called a bald fade, right? If I turn around, it kind of like goes down in the back, if you can tell. Kind of that, you know, new age look. But I am not done. It looks good. But watch what happens when I shake it, right? So as I did before last night, I shook my hair. So the same way I shook my hair last night, I'm going to do the same thing now. And you just want to move that hair around. I don't know why this helps. I really don't. Like, already, if I get close, look at that. That's crazy. Again, don't give yourself whiplash. Be careful. I've, I gave myself a couple headaches messing around, shaking my hair too hard. But look at that. Look at that. That is, I now understand why people ask, Ty, are you Hispanic? Like, look, that is perfect curly hair. I don't even know, bro, if you, <laughs> Guys, if you knew me in high school, you would be like, Ty, how is that even possible? I had the worst hair growing up. My mom, I said it, bro, but I don't think I'm like saying it like hard enough. Like, look at my, like, I am so proud of myself. I have per, like, look at that. Look at that. That's on my, I'm actually in utter disbelief. Like, every time I wash my hair, so, Every wash day, um, my hair grows longer because I wash my hair once a month. Um, so I need to talk about the schedule that I use. We're going to talk about that next. But I wash my hair once a month, right? Every other two weeks. Um, so every time I wash it, it gets like longer. And I see the transformation. Look at that. Oh, and I got a new fresh cut. How you guys feel about the cut too? I got a new barber because my old barber, Zach, he went Hollywood. Started charging 70 bucks an hour. I mean, 70 bucks per cut. No. Like I said, I don't give a fuck if Jesus cuts me. Jesus, I'm sorry. You $70 for that? I love you. But my, my God. As I said, I do have a schedule. So, the way you want to do your hair. As I said last night, Thursday. Imagine this, last night was Thursday. You wash, your, you wash your hair, shampoo, conditioner, all of that, leave-in conditioner. You wake up, today is Friday now. All right? You're going to do what I did today. Keep the leave-in conditioner in there. Don't wash it all the way out. You know, you want to have that to keep your hair a little moisturized. If you have to add a little bit more, add a little bit, you know, not too much, because you're already it should already be like in your hair. You didn't wash it out last night, hopefully. Don't wash out the, it's called leave-in conditioner. If you wash it out, it's called leave-in conditioner. Now I get why there's labels. You're gonna wake up the next day, Friday, which is today. You're gonna put this in, and then let's say tomorrow, Saturday, hypothetically. So I used to be so confused, like what would you do on the third day? Like what, after you wash it and all of that, after you sleep, wouldn't it look bad? So this is where I was very, like, just lost, but I kind of figured it out now, obviously. Um, so, day three, Saturday, what you usually would do, so it depends on how rough your hair is or what you do today. So if you don't do anything, your hair should still be okay, right? So if I go to sleep tonight and, like, way back up, obviously it's not going to look as perfect, you know, it's not going to be, nah, but it's not going to look bad. Uh, what I would typically do is I just put more water in it and, you know, I'll rake my hair, not detangle, I just rake my hair like I did today, just like that, to like pull it down, and then I shake it. And then, you know, day three, it should come out looking like this. I would say day four, when I do the same thing, it looks a bit better. Now, um, day four, sometimes I put in leave-in conditioner. So if you guys remember, so this really depends on how your hair looks. You kind of have to just feel it. So if your hair feels like flaky or hard or it doesn't feel like, like my hair feels so soft and like, vibing right now like and bouncy um if it doesn't feel like that then you probably need leave-in conditioner because as i said i'm gonna keep reiterating moisture is curly hair's best friend especially for us 4c people so if your hair isn't feeling the best just put in a little bit of leave-in conditioner um that should like fix it a little bit um day six is the day right before the next thursday so we're doing this on a weekly basis so thursday remember we wash the hair right shampoo conditioner and then day four and five you can put the leave-in conditioner or not depending on that day um, then day six, I don't put anything, just straight water, no matter what it looks like, because by then I've already put in a leave conditioner or not. Day seven, so we're back to Thursday, today, or yesterday, 
I'm sorry, losing track of these days. Thursday, a week goes by. So I don't wash my hair um, in this week. Um, I used to do it, but this one girl, she told me that it's not good, especially for like 4 hair, to wash it weekly. So I switched it to two, every two weeks. So on Thursday, I just condition my hair when I get in the shower. So you guys remember our purple bottle over there, right? The Ozzy. When I get in the shower on Thursday, um, I just put conditioner in it. And that's when I detangle it. So I you get my hands. I don't use a Damon brush. I just use my hands and just get the little bit of detangles that's in there because over a week, um, you know, your hair gets tangled. I should mention, don't be detangling your hair every day. Just leave it be. Just put a little bit of leave conditioner, rake it through, don't detangle. Just a little bit and just shake. And, you know, on Thursday, that's when you can re-detangle with your hands, not the Damon brush, because I don't like to, like, over-detangle, because that's when you start pulling it out and stuff. So I use my hands, and then I just do the same process. I wake up the next day, Friday, I would put in my curl custard, right, this here. Um, then day four and five, pick one of those days, put the leave-in conditioner again. And then when Thursday comes back the third time, that's when I wash my hair, and then I just repeat that process over and over and over. And then eventually your hair gets to this point and people start asking you, what are you doing with your hair? Girls come up to you. Your hair is beautiful. It's better than mine. I'm not even trying to like, you know, toot my own horn or brag or anything, but I have had grown full women, natural hair, beautiful hair, come to me saying, how do you do your hair? What do you put in it? I'm just a little 22 year old guy that just watched some YouTube videos. They had to find out the hard way. Um, but here you are, you know, look at this. My hair like, I know you want that. You, you you deserve that. You really do. I know you've been looking for what is, I Can I please find somebody that's like me, that's not mixed, that has good hair, that done figured it out. I don't know how you figured it out, but universe, please just send him to me. Here I am. As I said, uh, I am going to put all of these uh, products in the description, right? If you want to go buy it. Um, you don't have to buy the exact one. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be one of those guys. You have to buy my product. It's the only one that works. No, you can go buy Kent too. Again, there's other ones. I just can't remember. Um, I use Shea Moisture. I just think it's the most moisturizing. It has the nice... I mean, if you look at the bottle, look at look at the, look at that. Coconut oil, silk protein, neem oil. I don't even know what neem oil is. It has no... no Whatever that is. Can you read that? No... I don't even, I've never even heard of that. If a bunch of people from the beauty community just somehow come to this video and just start coming below, you know, Shea Moisture is actually bad for you because this is, I don't want to hear, like, it's working out for me. It's working out for me. I've spent five years just trying to figure it out. Cut my hair, went bald like three, four times because my hair was just so bad. Like, I'm, I said in the video my hair was bad. I don't think, it, maybe I should go into a story of how bad my hair actually was. Like, my hair journey, man, man, it was, my God. To get here, I don't want to hear nothing about Shea Moisture is this or I have so many more great videos coming out. Um, you know, I've just been, I, you've seen it on the channel, bro. We have, I just, in my, I, I've been in my bag, bro. I've been in my element. I just, I don't know what happened. I just, my one little broke and it's like I just snapped. Like, Ty, why am I not doing what I want to do, which is this. So, you know. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad we're here. We're just having a good time. See you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to I don't even know what, but it don't matter. Because as I said, I want the world. I want you guys to experience this beautiful life with me. And with that being said, I love you guys. Peace.